Hey everyone, in this video we're going to talk about how we can install SciPy into Python on a Mac. In this video, we are going to be installing SciPy directly from the Mac terminal, allowing you to use SciPy in your Python shells which we will talk about more here shortly. Before we begin, if you do not have Python installed, just click on that link in the top right hand corner of your screen now, or check out the link in the description down below and you can quickly learn how to download and get started in Python. To ensure that we have Python installed correctly, and to get started, let's hit Command and Spacebar to open up our Mac's search feature. Then let's type Terminal. Within our terminal, let's type Python and then hit Tab. This should show you all of your Python additions. As we want to be working in the latest version of Python, let's just type 3.9 and hit Enter. This will show you a bit of information confirming that Python is actually installed. Now we don't actually want to do anything with this right this second, so let's just quit this out like so. Now to work on our Max terminal with Python code, we need to first create a virtual environment that will contain all of our project's information. I also want to store this file onto my Max desktop so that it is easily findable. So by typing ls and hitting enter, you should see the desktop as one of the directories that we can move into. So let's type cd, change directory, and desktop. Now, to create a Python environment, let's tell the terminal that we want a Python 3.9-m venv study session. So, this is saying, let's make a Python 3.9 virtual environment called study session. But you can obviously call your virtual environment whatever you wish. Now, you can see that when we list the available desktop directories, that's what ls does, we now have a folder called study session, which is the Python environment that we just created. But how do we go about entering that virtual environment? Well, as you can see here, when I list the contents of study session bin, we have a file called activate. And we are going to type source, space, our newly created environment's name, so study session, slash bin, slash activate. Now, on the left side of our input line, we can see that we are working within the study session environment. This line is telling Python to run scripts out of this study session shell only. Now that our virtual environment is created, let's ensure that we have the latest version of pip installed. Quickly though, what is pip? Pip is a Python package manager that allows us to install and utilize packages that are not a part of the standard Python library. Let's type in our terminal window pip3 install dash dash upgrade space pip. Now it'll either quickly upgrade your pip or tell you that you are up to date. The purpose of doing this is to prevent any potential errors that could occur during our installation of SciPy, as we want the latest version of the package manager. After we complete upgrading our pip, we can simply install SciPy into our Python environment. So let's change our directory to study session and install SciPy by typing pip install SciPy. To test that SciPy is installed correctly, let's solve a quick integral using the quad function. So let's open up our max spotlight search again by hitting command and space. And let's open up text editor. Then we need to make sure we are working with plain text and not rich text. We can validate this by coming to the top here under format and ensure that we are in plain text. Then let's type from scipy dot integrate import quad. This just imports the part of our newly installed scipy package that will allow us to integrate a function. So let's create a simple function that we want to integrate. Let's say 4x to the power of 2. Then we need a simple function that will interpret our string function as a proper mathematical expression. Now we need to call the quad python function, which allows for a basic simple integration. So we put quad, our function of interest, and our two bounds of the definite integral. Then we can just print the result of the integration, and there we go. This will approximate the area under our curve between these two points. So let's save this file inside our newly created Python environment as area.py. Py meaning it is a Python script. Now, back into our terminal, let's navigate to our virtual environment, which I called study session, and type Python, and then our file's name, area.py. We will then receive the results of our definite integral. First results here is the area under our curve between the two points, and the second number we are given is the error of this integration, 
since it uses numerical methods and not analytical methods, meaning it approximates the answer and doesn't give you the exact answer. I hope this video helped you install SciPy into Python on your Mac. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, and consider checking out our YouTube memberships by clicking that join button down below. However, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns about the information I provided in this video, please leave a comment down below and I will do my best to address your concerns.